Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Sex Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when it says you cannot start the application or game on your PlayStation. And this could be because of various different reasons, but you could always press options on the game and then you can go to check for update right here and just see if there's an update that's causing the game not to launch or start. Now, there could be also corrupted data on that specific game. And one way to fix that is to go up to settings and then go on down to where it says application and save data management then we can go to save data in system storage right here and select this now you do need to be a playstation plus member to go ahead and do this and before doing this verify that you do have data in the online storage so we can go to download to system storage and just make sure the game data is uploaded to the cloud then we can locate the game so here's minecraft for example and we can select it then we can delete all the saved data and just re-download it back to our PlayStation. So you may see some files in here that say corrupted data. We want to delete these. Then go back and go to save data in online storage and download them to the system storage. And it may say please wait for like 20 seconds, so just be patient. So here's Minecraft located under this list. We can select all the items in here. You can see I have a lot more worlds and stuff that I deleted before. I can select them and then go to download. So let's select all these, or you can go to the top, go to select all, and then go to download right here. And it's downloading all the saved data back to my PlayStation 4. Now, if this doesn't work or you don't have PlayStation Plus, you can hold down the PlayStation button, and then we want to go to turn off PS4 and completely 100% turn off our PlayStation. Now with the PS4 completely turned off, plug in a USB cable just like this to the controller. Then hold down the power button, you will hear one beep, and then about 5 to 10 seconds later you will hear another beep, and your PS4 will launch into the safe mode video. So let go. Now to operate the menu, press the PlayStation button on the D-pad. Should go to like a light blue color now, you can operate it with the D-pad, and then select with X. Now go on down to option number 5, rebuild database. Says it might take a few hours. But in my experience, it only takes about 5 to 10 minutes. But if you have corrupted data on your PS4, this should go ahead and fix the issue for you. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. If it did, leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech videos coming up next on your 6 Tech.